Hello and welcome to the HMIS at NCCEH Introduction to Service Point Training. My name is Andrea Carey and I am a System Administrator at the NCCEH Data Center. This training serves as an introduction to our software so that you're able to navigate and access our HMIS system. Within this training, we will review three items. What is Service Point? How to access Service Point? and give you a visual orientation of the software. All right, so what is ServicePoint? ServicePoint is the name of our Homeless Management Information System, or HMIS, website software. And you may hear us refer to the company that owns and operates this software called WellSky. We have a specific website that is called HMIS at NCCEH and organizes all of our client level data. You should only use this URL, this website, to access HMIS. Your login information will not work on any other website. Where can I practice? We have a separate website where you can practice using fake clients on a mirror image of our live HMIS site. Copies are made of our live site throughout the year without client details. This training site has the same look and feel, but you can create fake clients to test your skills. We will use this training site to test the skills of new users and make sure that everyone is ready to join HMIS when they get their license. Next, we'll review how to access ServicePoint. HMIS licenses give individual people, also called HMIS users, access. Each person has a unique username and password to the live HMIS site. All data entry must go through your unique username and password. Continuums of Care, or COCs, using HMIS at NCCEH cover the cost for their agencies. HMIS is open to all homeless dedicated agencies regardless of funding source. Even if you are not funded through the COC NOFA process, you are welcome to join HMIS. There are two main roles in ServicePoint. First, we have our Case Manager 2s, or CM2 for short. This role creates client records, edits client records, can run reports, and also view all of the data within their assigned projects. This is the typical role for anyone doing basic data entry, or uh, client engagement. Then we have our agency administrators, or AAs. These users have the same abilities as Case Manager 2s, but they can also reset passwords for anyone within the agency. In addition, they are responsible for overseeing HMIS activities, ensuring data quality, and they're our point of contact at the data center. Each agency participating in HMIS must have at least one agency administrator. Keep in mind for ServicePoint that passwords can only be reset by agency administrators or the NCCEH data center. We all forget our password sometimes, so don't be hesitant to contact us if you need your password reset. You will use the same username and will give you a temporary password. The temporary password allows you to log in to reset your password. This way, your true password is kept private. Once you use your temporary password, it will immediately expire. A bright red message will appear that says, password has expired. Make sure that you're following the directions for password requirements and enter the same new password into each box below. Remember, Clients are counting on us to keep their information private, so make sure your password is a strong one. Now we are ready for a visual orientation within ServicePoint. Upon logging in, you'll see a screen that looks like this. The only difference will be that the top band will not be orange on our live HMIS site. This is a screenshot of the training site. Zooming in a bit, you can tell this is the ServicePoint training site because of the title in the upper left-hand corner. You will always find the website title, default project name, and today's date in your upper left-hand corner. 
If we zoom in on the right hand side of the page, we'll see your name and HMIS role in the upper right hand corner. We're using a fake agency administrator's profile for this orientation. If you click on the gear icon next to your name, you'll be able to open up your user profile details. In the user profile box, you'll see your name, uh, job title if filled in, your username for HMIS, where your license is located, your role in HMIS, and your email and telephone contact information. Please keep this email and telephone number updated so that the data center can contact you about HMIS data. You can also change your own password using the Change Password button in the bottom left-hand corner. If you back out of there, you'll see our data entry modes in the upper right-hand corner as well. Just so you know, Shadow is only available to agency administrators, but that way agency administrators can look through the eyes of the case managers in their agency. Below our website title and user profile data entry modes is a long blue bar. On the left-hand side, you'll see a pathway that is mapped as you go through Service Point. Here, it identifies that we are currently on the home page dashboard. On the right side of the blue bar, you'll see a box labeled Global Search. If you click here and use a client ID, you can then go directly to that client's profile. We recommend you only use Global Search for client IDs. To the right of the Global Search bar, there's a star icon. Whenever you see this icon as yellow, you're able to add that page to your favorites. Since we're currently on the home page, the star is not yellow, it's grayed out. To the right of the star icon is a question mark icon. This gives you access to basic HMIS definitions. These help files have not been updated since 2015, so please keep in mind that these are only for basic definitions. In the middle of our home page, there are two tabs listed for news items. The NCCEH Data Center will post general HMIS updates through System News, that tab on the left, and agency admins can use Agency News to update HMIS users within the agency. You can see this test message below, and you can click on that title to get the full message. And here are the details of that full message. There's a limited ability for alerts in Service Point, System or Agency News will actually appear in the exclamation icon uh, when they're new. Keep in mind that this alert system does not include any email communication. Next, we'll look at the left side menu of our homepage. At the top of the left side menu, there's a tab that is called Last Viewed. If you click on the black arrow of this tab, you'll see a short list of clients you have viewed recently. This way, you can jump between several households easily. If you click the next tab over, labeled Favorites, you'll see a list of elements that you have identified as favorites. The next item on the left side menu is Home. This button will bring you back to your home page dashboard right here. I also want to point out the vertical line and arrow that allows you to collapse the left side menu if you want to you know, expand the right side of your screen. The next items in our left side menu are service point modules. You can tell these are service point modules because they have the word point in the name. We will mostly be using client point. Click client point to find or add clients in HMIS. It's critical that we don't just enter information into HMIS, but we also review it. This next item on the menu helps us review data. If you click reports, you'll be able to find our fastest reports in the system that are accessible to everyone. Common reports used here are the COC APR, the ESG CAPER, and the SSVF export. The next item on our menu is admin, and this is where agency administrators can reset passwords. 
Finally, the logout button is in our left side menu on the very bottom. Make sure that you log out before you leave your desk. Next, we'll review some common service point icons to help you navigate the system. First up, the pencil. The pencil helps us edit items within HMIS. Whenever you see the pencil icon, you can make changes. The green plus sign is our add button. Use this to select an item. You'll see red minus signs to remove items. The trash bin icon is used to delete items. In HMIS, there is no undo button. Make sure that if you do delete an item, you really want to. We cannot get that data back for you. We've already seen our black open close arrows at work. Use this arrow to expand or close a section. The printer icon allows you to print pages throughout Service Point. You can also use this button to save as a PDF. The last three icons are used for setting dates. Our calendar icon is used to select a date from a month-long calendar view. The blue arrow in a circle is used to clear dates, and the calendar icon with a green check mark is used to enter today's date automatically. You'll also see hyperlinked blue text and numbers used in many places in Service Point. By selecting the hyperlinks, you can see more detail. Sometimes this detail is linked to another page. On the left-hand side, we can see that Dorothea Dix's name is hyperlinked, and if you click her name, you'll go to her profile. However, sometimes the hyperlink or blue text just gives you more detail. On the right-hand side, there's a picture from a report where if you click that number, you'll get a list of client IDs and names that refer to that part of the report. Finally, we want to make sure that your data is all accessible and visible in HMIS. Saving data in HMIS is manual. Nothing is saved automatically. If save is not selected, your data could be gone. Keep in mind that HMIS also times out or disconnects after several minutes of no use. So you can click Save periodically as you enter data. This may be especially important if you're doing data entry live with a client and having a deep conversation with them. You can find Save at the bottom of most pages in HMIS. Sometimes they're also at the top. This concludes our intro to Service Point training. Thank you so much. We hope that this training helps prepare you to enter data in HMIS.